Hello, hello, dear airsofters. Here I have uh, for you a very, very nice replica, airsoft replica, uh, and a very rare one. I'm talking about this beauty. It's an AK-47 uh, made by Vega Force Company. And uh, more precisely, it's the Ames, the Romanian version of the AK-47, made in 1965. Uh, I was lucky to find it uh, on Airsoft Forum, uh, so I've just purchased it. So it's a used gun, but as you can see, it's a, like uh, new. Uh, the previous owner uh, didn't use it much. So uh, as I know, it's a rare one because it was made like, as I know, 15 years ago and it's rare. It's not produced anymore. You don't find it anywhere in the shops. So uh, I want to do a review uh, due to its rarity. I'm Romanian, so uh, I I love AKs, uh, especially the Romanian-made ones. So uh, I will talk today about the details of this uh, nice beauty. All right, let me put it aside. I don't care much about boxes. Uh, being a used gun, the owner uh, sent it to me like this. So. It is what it is, it's just a carton box. All right, so what do we have here? Uh, all right, let's uh, have a look at this beauty. All right, let's start from the, f the front. Flash hider still made, front sight still made, barrel still made, yes, cleaning rod still made, gas, gas uh, block, I don't know what is this called, and then the, uh, the upper um, handguard still, sling mount sl still, front trunnion still, <coughs> this one is still too, still body, still uh, cover, still uh, disassembly, A lever, charging handle still, still fire selector, or let me turn it the other way. Uh, the trigger is not still but all the rest is still made which is very very good I was surprised to see that the barrel is still made uh, because not many are making these steel barrels so uh, from here we have a proper slant flash hider then we have the the cleaner wrong and the classic uh, <laughs> hand guard vertical with the vertical grip and of course the romanian markings which is safety uh, auto and uh, single fire I like the backlight uh, grip, which is uh, very rare to find nowadays. Made of plastic, but has this nice look. The folding stock is very stiff. As I can see, it's immaculate. 
don't think it was used in a game as I can see no no scratches and nothing the front side it's uh, made of steel has a Romanian P marking and also the proper proper seller number and the Romanian marking from the factory Kujir is the name of the factory the year of uh, this model and a serial number that they put now the only thing that as I know is not uh, according to the reality is the side mount for the rail so you can add a optic so a part of this this uh, is not uh, like the real one but I like it because who knows later on we, we you never know when you do that uh, uh, optical sight for your uh, games this is a very stiff sling uh, swivel yeah, I like it here inside we have a magwell spacer which is much needed when you uh, insert your mags because sometimes you don't find the correct notch to click in the mag um, the original mag that came with is this one which I don't know how how turned out this way so I don't know if it was painted yeah it was painted the uh, original was black but I can see that I can scratch this uh, silver color okay I'll use a paint stripper and remove this one but again this one is a uh, original one because it has this uh, the same Kujir factory stamp which I don't see it often on actually often I never saw it on a airsoft uh, replica and also this little hole for the bullet count uh, just to compare with you I have another this is a ENL um, magazine this is a mid cap high cap so as you can see there is no marking here there is not this hole so yeah this make this magazine very very uh, rare and uh, nice to have um, as I said I like Kalashnikovs I didn't like it uh, years ago but slowly I, I have managed to uh, be in love with them I have another one here this is the again the Romanian um, AK-47 but is the short model for the special operations special troops how to call it so they needed a shorter barrel this is not the, the the correct version because the real version had a different kind of skeletonized stock um, but this is what we have for airsoft in the airsoft market I have modified the the grip here I have uh, stripped the varnish and use the walnut um, uh, color and then I varnish it again originally it didn't came with this splash header so I tried to find something to match the real one and uh, what else just to have a look at this one also this one has the Romanian um, markings in the ear and a serial number but but the VS, VFC made it much better so just to compare and you also see the receiver top cover how it's covering the serial number so this is the correct way and uh, as you can see there is no uh, side mount rail for the rails and also the the marking 
you can see the difference between the S, F, A, and F, F. This one is a, just a plastic uh, brown stock, much different than the, the one on VFC. I like the that the airsoft rifle came with these two um, instruction manuals, and I really like to see these words Romanian A I M S. It's not often that I see something like this, and this is just a standard VFC user manual for the AKs that they produced. Let's have a look through it. So this is the English part with the story of AK and here is the VFC Airsoft. And here are some uh, details about the toy. And so on. Let's see in the end what they have. Uh, the part list and hop up adjustment silicone oil where to lube it and all this. And about the Romanian one, the user manual. If you have a hold it like this, so you can maybe uh, pause the video and read it. And this one is the part list. And on the back you have this uh, other details how to fold and fold the stock and then is this part is this uh, this one actually it's a elec electric blowback and uh, electric blowback is made by this uh, steel wire which got lost by the previous owner. Let me see if I can do it. Yes, or just pop it out. So right here, yeah, let me remove this. So right here is a cut in the gearbox. So that steel wire was somewhere here, and then was the other end was inserted here so when the piston was moving was also moving back this uh, uh, fake bolt cover creating this bag on the on the front runner well this was using more uh, battery for sure and uh, anyway I will uh, disassemble it I'll continue the review with the full disassembly and then let's see what is inside. I don't believe this was ever opened as you can see here. Normally if you disassemble it you have to hit this plate. So you can see here uh, scratches from the disassembly process. I don't see any any stamp or label quality check or thing so yeah looks like no one disassembled this one before so i'll be the first one all right so i'm curious to see what is inside the motor and all this uh, yeah i'll do this in the, in the second part of this video All right, so let's continue with the review. This is uh, part two. Just done a shooting test with uh, 0 0.25 VBs. This is what we get. And I still uh, have uh, the battery plugged in. 7.4 uh, volts LiPo. So as I said, no one ever, I believe no one 
adjusted this it's still factory stock the settings and the setup so it's a it's a nice sound when the motor is uh, cycling and full auto Yeah, I'm. I look forward to disassemble it. See how is the shimming, the what grease they put inside, and how is the motor, and other little things. How is the hop up? As you can see, the hop up has uh, this. Let me see if I can remove it. Oh yes, I can remove this part from the hop up. And as you can see, it's held in by these two screws. It's a plastic hop up. And here to remove this space over here. All right, I'll continue with the assembly. And let's see what surprises are inside. All right, let's unplug the battery first clear this area I was reading the user manual it was saying that inside there is a high speed motor so what do we have here Very nice, looks like there are metal bushings, very good. All right, let's see how this thing is. If I can remove it by hand, but I need some tools. Oh, screw this. Yeah, it's a screw type or cover, I don't know. How it's holding in place. To take some tools and have a look. No, I cannot with the bare hands. All right, let's see this. This is very hard to remove by hand, also. Yeah, it has the cut here, so not to use it on real guns. And this one, I can use this part. No. I need another screwdriver. stiff really really stiff oh, yeah this is really very stiff okay I've got some movement here but anyway I don't think I need to remove this just to test it okay it's sturdy I'll leave it in place all right. Let me try to remove this one. Okay. Yeah, I got it moving. Yeah, so it's a screw type.
see how they made it. Oh yeah, this is a good, very good uh, model. The new models have, you can remove this part. So now this is much better. Now we can remove the fake bolt. Very nice. Now let's continue with these two screws. Spacer. You can push it down on it. No, I don't think so. Um, it's sliding on this rail, so I cannot cannot be taken out from here after you remove the gearbox. You have to. So I wonder if this I can see because you need to slide forward the the hop up assembly. Let's see what system they used. Because some of some the new models you have to there are two screws here that you have to unscrew. And the barrel slides forward. You can see there is a screw here, so I have to remove the front side, the back side. Or I have to remove the this pin here. All right, let me see. Let me move in a better place and continue the disassembly. All right, so here I am. Let's continue with the disassembly. motor first okay. looks like I have to replace the insulation all right mm. this is a very good how they made this they inserted the wire yes very good yeah, so the screws have these shims self-tightening shims okay, so let's see yeah this is a normal motor I don't think it's a high speed motor but anyway is very weak but it's in very good condition I don't see the details here but anyway all right good let's continue so let's slide that out the gearbox to push out the Hop up, free the noodle, and slide out the gearbox. Oh, very nice. And the hop up is here. So let's put it on zero. Yeah, I'm 
planning to change the hop up to something uh, better, maybe maple leaf. Well, there is a there is a sticker here. Very interesting. Never seen this. It's like one millimeter uh, thick sticker for the gearbox to rest here. Mm, very interesting. Okay. I'll put this aside. I'll continue. I'll do it another day. But now the gearbox, as we can see. Yeah, so here was the electric blowback uh, wire. The gearbox is very light. I see some grease here. Oh, that's good. I wonder how are the contacts. Oh, this is, there's some grease here too. That's very good. And the selector plate is transparent. Oh, there's a lot of grease here and it's visible too, which is very good. And that's it. Yeah. Let me disassemble it and see what surprises we have inside. Alright, so here it is. I have disassembled the gearbox. Very nice spring, long spring. And the spring guide. It's plastic made with a metal shim here to allow the spring to rotate and then what else we have All right, the air cylinder the tappet plate plastic made let's see how is the the surface Oh yeah, right here always there's a piece of plastic that needs to be sanded down yeah, to make it smoother on the other side all smooth I like this grease here very good let's see the <laughs> The nozzle yeah, there's no grease on the nozzle on the um, cylinder head but there is grease here well, so in time this slide it away a nice uh, piston uh, cylinder head with this part here I never seen it for full cylinder yeah we have a long barrel so it needs to be a full cylinder nice piston air vented there's grease inside mm, no no more grease inside well, let's see oh perfect seal oh amazing seal yes Even with the nose alone, without the ring, it's a perfect seal. Very good, very good job, uh, uh, VFC. Oh, here, what happened here? Uh, so here was the that um, steel wire for the electric blowback. So as you can see, it's a it's a small notch where this was entering. 
Okay, you leave D to the views. Uh, yes, so it's a bit. Yeah, the the, the wire made a deformed. How to call it? This area here. Oh, and they have removed one tooth from. Uh, from the piston, that's very good, like oh, 15 years ago they did this, very good. This looked like a very light piston. And this is due to the, the electric blowback. The fake bolt was moving and you can see scratch the, the cylinder. Alright, let's see. Here, I have some grease here. Here to some grease, good grease, yeah. I like it. Let's see how is the surface. Yeah, I can see some residues here, some dirt. Looks like a good shell. Yeah, and a good uh, connection with the other half. The shims are a bit up, okay, no, no, not totally down, but anyway, they made it like this. All right, good. Let's see this gear. So we have two shims here, and what? No shims here. Yeah, there is no shim on this this side. spring uh, uh, is that model of gears with spring that VFC made I like this so they are self shimmed there's a shim below here and this one here there is this uh, oh, I don't know this knob how is call it for the puppet plate to allow it to take BBs well, that's very good it's very strange how is this uh, tooth here I never seen this chip so this is different than the other one so this is the last one that catches the the piston so how is this one is no way this is catching like this so this is the last one very interesting they made it reinforced somehow oh, amazing job BFC well, let's put it away I don't want to ruin the shimming leave it how it was right. this one has some grease very good All right, let's see this gear there is a shim here like supposed to be grease very nice grease and also this self sh shimming spring very very good perfect Uh, I'm planning to install a MOSFET Perun Hybrid 3 V3 uh, MOSFET in this gearbox so as you can see the trigger doesn't pop out like on other replicas let me remove it mm, very stiff Oh, the 
spring is very nicely made this one I like this let's see how is this yeah freely moving although there is no grease inside here but there was grease on the other side which is very good all right let's see the and the uh, trigger contacts let's see if I can zoom in all the contacts are still fine was not used a lot this part is more used than the other one then the cutoff lever here is still okay all right oh, well, let's see this uh, how is this area here yeah there's a lot of grease here some dirt yeah there is good grease here and here yes very good job I like it really really very good gearbox I, I will do a radius cut here on the gearbox just to be safe it is not cracking and yeah that's it that's the review I believe of this nice toy thank you and uh, yeah, see you uh, another time with another review.